Hi guys and welcome back to Bree's Umbrella. It's Bree. Today I'm going to be giving you eight tips on how to ease cramps. But before we get into that, you know I gotta light my sage, right? It's no party without lighting the sage. So now that I have my sage flowing around, let's go ahead and get into these tips. So I really wanted to do this because I always like have problems when it's that time of the month. I always have back aches. Oh my God, cramps. I'm not, I don't really have cramps as bad. It's, for me, it's mostly my lower back that gives me the most problems. So we are gonna solve all of that today. So the first one for me for cramps, I would say eat bananas. Bananas contain potassium, they contain magnesium and um, calcium, and all of those nutrients help ease cramps. That's three out of four nutrients that ease cramps. So eat those bananas, they really work. I tried this like a while ago and it really did ease my cramps, really. The next tip will be to stretch. Oh my God, it's, for me it seems like when it's that time of the month, my muscles become so tight, especially my lower back. So I always get on my yoga mat and I try to do like different poses. Get on that mat and stretch. I promise you it will loosen your muscles. Please do that. The third tip will be to walk. Walking improves your circulation throughout your whole body, including your uterus. So, and for me, I went walking the other day, and I really, it really made me feel better. It got my mind off the cramps, the back pain. It was just a nice breeze. Like, I really enjoyed it. You know, the wind is blowing, it's fall time. So, it's a good time to go outside, especially if you're having these problems. Or if, even if you don't want to go outside, walk around your house. The fourth tip will be to drink herbal tea. Not sweet tea, herbal tea, you guys. Tea contains glycine. And that is a chemical that relieves muscle spasms. And it helps your muscles to relax. Get into this tea, guys. I promise you, you will not regret it. And it also acts as a nerve relaxant to help your muscles relax. So, you guys, I'm going, I'm going to pull out a couple herbal tea packets that I have myself just to show you guys what to look for, what to get when you're going in the store shop. In my experience, tea also helps me to be calm. You know you can be under a lot of stress when it's that time of the month. You know you can have attitudes. You just get so aggravated with the little stuff. Like anything will set you off during that time of the month. So I definitely recommend you to drink that herbal tea because that helps as well with that. <laughs> Tip number five, heating pad. Heating pad, it does help. You can just place the heating pad on whatever area that's giving you problems, your lower back or your lower abdomen. For me, it does actually help. I mean, I feel like it takes longer to relieve the pain, but it does actually help. And it helps you to relax, I feel like, for myself anyways. Tip number six. Now, y'all, I know y'all ain't seen this before. And I'm a, you know I'm gonna put you up on game, so. Get in tune with the menstrual cramps cream. Y'all, let me put it back in the camera. Dr. Nancy's. This cream, y'all, oh my God. I don't even know where to start with this cream. This cream helps like it does. I feel like when you apply it to whatever area that hurts, it numbs that area in it. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it numbs it for the whole day. You might have to apply it a couple of times, but this stuff works. Oh my God. I hope y'all stay watching this video until tip number six, honey, cause 
this is the one that's gonna work for sure. Like, you see, relieve the pain. Y'all, and it's all natural. Y'all know I'm an all natural girl. Get in tune with this stuff, y'all. Get in tune. Get in tune. Apply daily to lower abdomen and lower back one or twice daily. For best results, start applying first day of cycle or one to two days prior. So y'all, y'all can get y'all can order this off of um Amazon. I actually got this from my y'all know I'm always talking about this store, Seven Nada. I actually got this from Seven Nada. So Girl, get into it. And I got another one for y'all. Back, knee, and hip pain. Nah, I told y'all my back always hurt. That's, that gives me the most trouble. So I had to get this one too. And you can also find this one on Amazon. It's Dr. Nancy's Body Soul Essentials. I'm going to post a picture up here so y'all can get a better look. Oh, honey, apply over entire body or to affect the area one or twice daily or as needed. Yes, girl. And I know some people, when they when it's that time of the month for them, their knees may throb. I used to have that problem. I haven't had that problem in a long time, though. But, girl, get into them. This is the one. This is the one. Dr. Nancy's, they came through with this. Y'all. All right. <laughs> Tip number seven, stay hydrated. You have to stay hydrated during that time of the month. For me, when that time of the month comes around, I'm always dehydrated. Like, always. I have to keep water by my side. I have to eat fruit. Y'all, I know a lot of women, they eat chocolate, all this junk food. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes I do it too. But for me, I need fruit, I need water, I need all that stuff to help me stay hydrated because I feel like the snacks keep me feeling dehydrated and just, ugh, like, but I do enjoy that food too sometimes, so I ain't even going to cap to y'all, period, but stay hydrated. I don't care if you got to get you some Gatorade. I just try to say stay away from like sugary stuff, sugary drinks, because you need to stay hydrated. And tip number eight, avoid fatty foods. Oh my God, like greasy foods. No, I just can't y'all. And like French fries and stuff like that, when is that time of the month for me? I just... If I can taste the grease, y'all, that's just not right. I can't do it. I need, like, honey, I'm just, the fatty foods is not going to cut it for me. Like, I don't, like, if, checkers, I wouldn't eat checkers around that time of the month. Because they food is so freaking greasy, y'all. And that just aggravates me. <laughs> that aggravates my soul. So, try to eat you like a salad. Get all those nutrients that you need to help your body to relax and stay calm, you know. So, you won't be going off on folks because, honey, I know my boyfriend, he be. <laughs> but it's okay. So, yes, that includes the eight tips to ease cramps and other pains while you're on your cycle. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all got some new tips because I know you can be hearing the same stuff from a lot of people and I just want to bring something new that you probably haven't heard of. I know some of this stuff you have heard of, but yes, I got some new stuff for y'all. Yes, I'm so happy that I could provide this information to you guys, but with that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you tune in every week to see what will be under breeze umbrella